Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today we're going to talk a little bit about frog fishing and actually fishing the frog. Now frog fishing is a very effective technique to catch largemouth bass. It's very simple to do, but very, very effective. A little things you want to consider when you're going to do some frog fishing is the equipment that you're going to fish. I happen to have a an Okuma Serrano, this is a seven foot six heavy rod, as well as a Hakai reel on here. Um, the speed of the reel doesn't necessarily make any uh, difference to you, 6.2, 7.3, 8.1, um, but you definitely want something with a lot of uh, stopping power, a lot of braking. This particular one has over 20 pounds of drag, and you want something with some really good backbone, because these bass are gonna come up, they're gonna come up out of the weeds, they're coming up out of the dark, in some structure. You wanna be able to set that hook and turn that fish's head and get it back to you as soon as possible. As far as the line goes, a lot of people like to fish their frogs straight to braid. I like to fish it with a little bit of a, little bit of a leader, fluorocarbon preferably, but monofilament works as well. Anywhere from a foot to two feet is great. Uh, if, if you do fish that straight blade, braid, make sure you use like a Sharpie and color in that first foot to two feet, just to make it a little bit more invisible for those frogs. A lot of times, like you can see behind me here, we're fishing over like a lot of moss, a lot of heavy weed. So coloring that line might not make that much of a difference for you, but uh, a lot of times if you're in some clearer water or a little thinner structure, it's gonna make quite a bit of difference. Now, as far as the frog goes, there's lots of frogs out there on the market. This happens to be the Fish Lab Rattle Toad. This um, geese not too happy. This particular frog, and all frogs actually, they actually work right up on the surface. They're floating. Uh, the Fish Lab Rattle Toad actually sits completely flat. It doesn't sit butt down, but it actually sits flat on the water. It's got a floating PVC type of skirt, so it sits there and it looks like it's actually kicking back and forth there. They all have a, or most of them have a double hook set up, so it's got this double forked hook here. So when you're actually setting the hook there, you can actually drive it right into those fish there and get that hook right up back up to the, uh, to the water's edge there. Um, great little baits, very effective. There's also popping frogs, which is a little bit different. I don't happen to have one with me here, but it'll usually have a little bit of a cup in the front there. So when you work it and you're popping that thing back, it actually spits water, it makes a lot of commotion. Uh, really cool to see. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll get this thing set up. Let's make a couple casts and uh, see what it looks like. Now, when you're working the frog, what you want to do is make nice long casts. You could, if you're working from shore, you want to work a little bit parallel to shore, work it through all of that structure, all of that moss, all of the weeds, make a nice long cast, get it to that open water, past the area that you want to work. If you know there's some bedding fish or some fish that you want to target up close, cast past it, make a nice long cast, and then slowly work it back. Now on the frog, I don't know if you can actually see that on camera there, but it's right up on the surface. You can do a walk the dog style, we're actually going to work your rod tip up and down. What that does, that's going to make that frog go back and forth in the water. You can straight retrieve it if you like. You can pop it. If you can see the splash that that's happening. Okay, now we're on top of the weeds here. We're up on that moss. So we're just going to work that guy right across the top. I don't know if there's any fish in this section here. We're actually working pretty shallow, but this is uh, just more for some general guidelines on how to actually fish the frog. But you're just going to kind of work that through that moss pop it around, get it through there. Like I'm coming up on a stick here now. So when you come up to a stick, let that, let that frog sit on the other side of it before you pop it over. A lot of times those fish are hunkered down underneath that structure, underneath a log, underneath something that's floating, but then just work it right over the top. When you get over the top of that stump, let it sit there once again. Like I said, those fish are, sometimes they're facing one direction, sometimes they're facing another, but they can might be looking at one side of the log. If something stops above it, they're gonna go attack it. When it comes over the log, they think that the frog might have fallen off into the water. Another great opportunity for some ambush. Here I'm coming across some stick ups here. So same thing, keep your rod tip high. Just get that thing so it's working its way through there. Most, most frogs are gonna be a weedless bait. So they're not gonna get hooked up. You're not gonna get snagged, but your line can get wrapped around those twigs. Let that thing work its way back. Once you get back to the shore here, just make yourself another nice long cast. A little bit different section. You don't have to fish that exact same water. You can almost fan cast it, which means that you're just working a different direction all the way back down to the beach there. Just work that frog. If you can see that there, it's working back and forth. Gets a nice big wake on the water. Now you're just gonna work that through that weed and that structure. Like I said, I don't know if there's any fish here. It is really, really shallow right here, but I just want to give you a little visual. I don't know if you can tell there, but there's also some, uh, some stumps sticking up here. So we're just going to work that through there. We're going to go right through those stick ups. It's going to come up over that branch. 
and then drop back in. A lot of times when you make that big plop, let that frog sit for a second. You don't have to work it right away, just let it sit. A lot of times when that commotion happens, that fish is gonna turn its head and it's gonna look. And then when you make that first initial pop or two, that's when those fish are gonna come up. So if it goes up and over a stump or a branch or anything that's sticking up, when you pop it back, let it hit the water, let it just sit for a second. That's always a good tip that I like to offer is just let it sit and then you can go ahead and work it right back to the shore. Very simple to do and always take your frog and give it a squeeze. They do collect a little bit of water on occasion in them and that'll just keep them up, upright and floating as well. But that's frog fishing. Very simple, very effective as I mentioned 20 times already so far in this video. But I do appreciate y'all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Davies World Fishing up at that right hand corner. See you on the water.